Hey, Sun here, I'm a privacy and security researcher and you're watching the Privacy Guides. In today's episode, I am super pumped to share that it is now possible to have analytics on our website or web apps while being privacy conscious. And this is exactly what I've been doing for the past month or two. If you go on my website, uh, you'll notice that there is this statement, this website is not tracking you. You may also see that there are no GDPR prompts or banners asking you for your explicit consent because this website is fully GDPR compliant and actually way beyond. Uh, you may notice as well that nothing is prompting that there are trackers. I have enhanced uh, tracking protection in Firefox enable at its kind of most insane settings. I have privacy badger running, you know, and there are no trackers. And the reason for that is I have analytics but it does not uh, account as a tracker because it's just extremely well done. So in this episode, maybe you're a business owner, maybe you're a technology entrepreneur, maybe you have a blog and you want a way to not operate in the dark. You wanna know what works, what people are liking, what people are engaging with. Maybe you wanna track specific events, but you're also privacy conscious or you're operating a business under GDPR and you're looking for an alternative to Google Analytics, which totally is evil. Um, well, that exists now and I'm super pumped. Uh, so taking a few steps back, um, a while back, maybe a few months ago, a friend of mine said, son, do you know about Fathom? Uh, that friend of mine called Jonathan was essentially doing a blog. He was creating his own blog, um, which I may link in the description if he permits, essentially, he had Fathom on his website uh, and he wanted to have that because he wanted to know which topics were most engaging. And, and he said, son, do you know about it? And I was like, no. And, and I went on the website and started going through the documentation and I really fell in love with what this small team is doing. It's a team out of Canada, by the way. Um, they really decided that they wanted a product that is privacy conscious, but also very powerful for marketing driven people. And that's what they did. Uh, I'll start with the privacy stuff. Um, essentially, all data coming into their servers is hashed, not the data itself, but the kind of unique identifier that identifies a person. Um, and that means that essentially, there is absolutely no way for them to be able to track people. They can just track uh, essentially data that's being uh, abstracted to a level where it's still valuable from a marketing perspective, but it is absolutely useless to track people. And also, uh, it's possible to self-host their script. And I'll talk about that at the end of the episode if you're like very extreme in the privacy conscious realm, but it's just amazing. And it's really a drop, uh, drag and drop replacement-ish for Google Analytics, meaning if you're used to Google Analytics, but Google Analytics is now illegal in the European Union because of GDPR, well, you can start using Fathom and it kind of behaves in a very similar way. Um, so Fathom Analytics, uh, well, you don't need to have a GDPR or CCPA or PC, I don't even know what that one, last one is, um, because you don't need it. This is not installing cookies that could track people. And also, the way that it works is you can have a custom domain, which by the way is great for bypassing uh, some ad blockers that would block this uh, code even though it's totally benign um, and because of that and because there are no cookies uh, someone cannot track us or us as a visitor across different web properties it's just impossible which is really really great um, so yeah looking here at the interface this is live uh, I'm actually quite pumped that there are people on the website right now this is not staged at all and as you can see the website has been uh, getting what I consider for a small niche project like the Privacy Guides, uh, substantial viewership, substantial viewership, damn it, son. Um, and as you can see here, it just updated live. So this platform really gives me everything that I want, almost, uh, that I used to appreciate in Google Analytics in another life. So it gets to tell me live what people are viewing and how many people are, and that's really great. If I do a Twitter post, and I wanna have a sense of, are people engaging with this live? I can. It also gives me a sense of the visitors, how many people are going on the website and where they originate from. So what you can see right now is that 
out of the four, one is coming from YouTube, one is coming from Google. Uh, that really helps me establish a good SEO strategy to make sure that you know a lot of people are coming in from search engines, which is really good to have a website be up there in the search results. Um, you can also have a sense of the total views, and that, by the way, what you're viewing here is for the past seven days, I believe, let me see. Uh, yeah, last seven days. Uh, so it kind of gives us a sense of how many people are on the website for a given period of time, how much time they're spending on the website, uh, and the bounce rate. Uh, now, I'm not sure those KPIs I have here are very good, but I'm quite pumped about them myself. Uh, now, you also have events, and that's super cool. And that's one of the places where I think they could improve. Um, events are essentially, oh yeah, that's super cool. You can see which content is most engaging uh, and also where people are originating from. So I'm quite amazed by the SEO potential here. I thought most people would come in from YouTube, but actually a lot of them are coming in from Google and DuckDuckGo, which is very exciting. Uh, but yeah, moving on to events. Um, I created two events to giant kind of just test an idea I had. So if we go on the website here, um, I started adding those little, uh, if we go in a privacy guide, uh, a little banner here. So I'm developing a business. I'll be talking more about it in the future, but essentially I wanted to see, you know, of everyone coming onto this website because of YouTube or because of search engine optimization. Well, how many people will actually click on an ad? Uh, and I kind of thought a lot more would click, to be honest. When you're marketing an idea, you kind of draw a line in the sand and you're like, okay, my assumption is X, and then you wanna be able to measure the reality against this assumption. And, and I assumed a lot more people would click, but then I added this. So I have two events, uh, clicked donate ad and click star repo ad, and those are the metrics for the past seven days. So if we have a look at this, uh, if we look at total views and we look at event completions, we can see that out of you know 700 or so visitors and you know 1,700 views, uh, only six event completions occurred, and, and that's kind of really really bad. <laughs> so that assumption was proved wrong, and that is really why analytics is so critical. We have to have analytics, even if we are privacy conscious, or else we're setting ourselves for failure. Um, now, also, something that's really cool about Fathom is uh, it's a really small team, uh, and I don't know if you guys are entrepreneurs as well, but it's really hard to sell your idea, to market your idea when you're a small team. And something that a lot of people do is use affiliate marketing, having people like me talk about it. So by the way, this whole episode is not sponsored by them, but they have this amazing referral program that they developed from the ground up to be privacy conscious as well. And I'll be putting this unique referral URL down there in the description. So if you wanna try it out, please click on that link. It's super privacy conscious. It will give you a $10 discount. And I actually get a 25% lifetime commission kickback on all payments that you would make, which blows my mind. It's such an amazing value prop for content creators like myself. Uh, and it's such a great way for a small team to get free marketing like I just did. So I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited by so many things. First things first, I get to not operate in the dark anymore. Uh, and that is so very exciting. I get to use a piece of technology that's developed by people who absolutely care and are not willing to compromise at all on user privacy. And for that, I am so thankful to the team behind Fathom. Thanks to have, you know, for, for creating this. It's something that I was trying to create in days of Lickstats, one of my former uh, companies. Uh, and they're doing it at a fabulous scale with a fabulous business model. There's no free version, and that's how it should be. I mean, we have to support developers that build such great technology. And they have this referral program, which I hope you'll use by clicking the link in the description uh, to get a discount and send me a kickback. And I'm really curious to see how that's gonna behave uh, and see what kind of revenue can be generated through this kind of referral program. I think it's something that could be very inspiring to all of us who might be entrepreneurs. Uh, so I'll leave you on this view again. Uh, so, I mean, it is so exciting to have eyes on this without having eyes on you. And that's what I've been running on my website uh, for a while. And it just works beautifully. 
Now, last but not least, uh, you guys know that I am ridiculously deep into the privacy rabbit hole. And for those of you who are a bit more technical, you probably know that adding a JavaScript tracker script on a website is essentially opening up a back door. Even though I trust Fathom, I don't want to give them full access to the DOM. I don't want them to be able to do whatever they want on my website without me being aware of it. Uh, so to that extent, what I've done is I have created this custom Fathom script repository on GitHub where I essentially took the code that they're serving through their content delivery network and I added a little property called uh, domain or data domain uh, and I audited the source code and I will hopefully maintain this over time. It's very easy for you guys to do the same. Uh, and that means that there is no way for them to do anything on my website without me being aware of it because I read through the whole source code and it's totally cool. So that means that I have this amazing analytic system that is privacy conscious. It's not a backdoor. There's no way for them to track people across different web properties. And best of all, I mean, it preserves your privacy. How cool is that? I'll see you soon. Bye.